Hi, babe. Um, this one's for you, all right? This one is for you. I got you. Welcome to the GP of 2024 at Carlsbad K1 Speed, number uno for the season. I hope you guys enjoy the content I'm making. I do apologize for the long wait on this video. I had some important things to attend to, and I do hope you guys enjoy this series. Uh, I'm only going to be using Q1 and Q2's fastest lap times just to shorten down the videos. I uh, think that'll probably be best for everyone as there's not too much racing uh, to enjoy. We had a ton of people come out to this one and it was really interesting to see all of the different racecraft and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, let's get to Q1 and see what that fastest lap looks like. Sitting P2, not looking too good. <laughs> not looking too good. Not looking P2. Okay. We're not looking too good. We're about a tenth off the pace from Ben, who's in P1, who's got like a 2936. And unfortunately, the board doesn't work because the people here suck at doing their job. Um, so, yeah. We'll see what happens. But uh, I really would like to start. Whole. Second one would be half bad either because we are going to be doing a grid start. So, uh, and second is on the inside. Strategy plays. Strategy. Plus, I know the guy in front of me doesn't like when I use my bumpers on him. Good. Driver, start your engines. You heard the man. Bum, 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 Obviously, from what you guys heard, uh, I'm certain I'm currently sitting P2, and I don't really like sitting at P2. I like sitting up at P1 right off the bat, but I had a hard time adjusting to the cart. So let's see what Q2 can provide. I had to go faster than a 29378, which was going to be pretty tough. Um, so I was really hoping I'd get something good. I know Ben's pretty quick. And I know most of the carts were kind of slow, so I was just kind of hoping that I could go faster. And obviously, with the board not working, I can't tell what lap I was going for. So that makes it extra challenging to know if you're doing good or you're doing bad. You don't know till till the end. So let's hit it. See what happens. As you can tell, I wasn't too pleased. Uh, I thought I was on a really hot lap, and I pretty much was. And luckily for me, the next lap, the final lap, was the fastest lap that I was gonna get. After setting down a 30.348 on lap 11, lap 12 was what I was gonna have to deal with. And before that, I wasn't on track for pole. I was off by slim, slim margins as we're gonna head through the chicane down into the fishbowl section and straight out to finish out the lap. We're gonna finish off with a 29.327. And here we go, on pole position to start the grid race. We're gonna have Ben in second and Charles in third. If you look closely, you're going to see I'm going to angle my cart towards the inside. And the reason I'm doing this is 
the inside is always the best, and you're going to hear some banter between us. I want the inside. At least be square. Huh? At least be square with your dress. I know. Can we get some chalk lines on this guy? Oh, my God. He, he might need a full bracket to stay in. I need an official on here. Let me get my violin. Uh huh. I think I have to tie my shoe real quick. No, the batteries. Come on, hurry up. They're cooking. And here we go, green, green, green. You're gonna see I'm gonna take the inside quickly ahead of Ben. And one thing I'm gonna notice right here, you can watch my steering inputs. I have a ton of understeer in the car. Just trying to hold off Ben, as I know the understeer is, I didn't know if it was gonna be a whole race thing or if it was just gonna be until the tires heat up, but that is gonna be my biggest downfall right now for the start of this race as soon as we go into a yellow flag. Now I'm gonna get kind of annoyed here at Matthew because I didn't know if we were going back onto the grid to do a normal grid start or if we were gonna do a rolling start. So I'm kind of leaving the inside a little bit open and I'm glad I didn't leave a full cart length over there because Ben would have just flown right past me. Now my biggest thing is I need to get the front tires as warm as I possibly can extremely quickly. And that's what I'm hoping to do with all the um, the jagged movements with the front tires just to try to warm them up as best as I possibly can and hoping that the front end will come to me in this race um, and he is right on my back bumper I'm gonna cover off through the teardrop a little bit and you'll see as I touch a little bit of brake through that corner to help rotate the car to go in normally you don't really have to brake in these things but with a ton of understeer like this I was gonna have to brake through a couple of these corners to get the cart rotated exactly where I want the understeer is slowly going away at this point, which was good, but it wasn't completely gone. And I know that, especially through the chicane section, that was going to be difficult. He's still relatively close as we head into the teardrop. I'm able to run a little bit of a more comfortable in the line, and I was able to help and pull a little bit of a gap. kidding me fucking keeping a fucking straight line fucking bullshit Jesus fucking Christ no driving as you could tell I was getting a little frustrated by that I knew that Ben was close and with a cart that once the tires cooled had a ton of understeer was difficult to drive as we're going to slam on the brake to make the corner as we overshoot a little bit but still able to hold off Ben as he's still really close. I know Ben likes to race really clean and doesn't like to use his bumper. Honestly, I'm fine. Bumpers are bumpers. As long as you don't put me in the wall, then we're good. But a few love taps ain't going to hurt anybody. The understeer is still there at this point. The tires are still kind of cold, so I'm really having to get the front end worked in and he's still really close. I'm gonna hold a defensive line, hit the brake again, and I'm just waiting for the front end at this point to, to come back to me. And that was gonna be the biggest thing. The more cautions we have, which was gonna be better for Ben and Charles, who were definitely in faster carts, uh, to, to catch up to me. As long as we didn't have too many cautions and they didn't get too, too far behind me, uh, they, they definitely had a chance at winning this. I knew that Charles had a little bit more pace than Ben, who was who he was behind, but he's going to struggle to get past him as we see an overtake done into the teardrop section.
and winner winner chicken dinner I'm gonna take the win for the 2024 round one have a little bit of a skid there honestly just kept it nice and smooth and steady as we see Charles fly by and we're gonna see Ben he's a uh, he's a little bit peeved I guess he got moved by Charles and uh, wasn't too happy with the move and unfortunately Ben that's just the way it comes with indoor go-karting uh, I did enjoy it uh, I'm glad we had a ton of people come out and enjoyed this event. I think there was like 26, 28 people who showed up, so that was fantastic. We had a bunch of people show, which was nice. Uh, and I won't be participating in round two, as I'll be going up to the NASCAR Clash, but I do hope to have a video out for you guys for the state race, if they will let me bring my GoPro. Uh, if not, maybe I can rent one of their other crappy cameras. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.